hey y'all welcome back to my channel this is lifestyle with lisa guys i am starting to clean out my refrigerator because i'm going grocery shopping tomorrow um it's after 11 o'clock i just decided to go ahead well i was supposed to have did it earlier but i got busy with something else so i just want to go ahead and get it done before bed so that way i don't have to worry about it when i come home with the groceries only thing i have to do is set it up film it for you guys wipe everything off and put it in the refrigerator so i'm not going to do a lot of talking but what i'm doing is setting i'm taking everything out the door part first and setting it on my counters because all this stuff will be wiped off individually that's how i like to do it individually i just like to wipe it off and um Clean the door parts. So, if you like cleaning refrigerators or just want to see me do mine, get a snack and relax and watch me do my refrigerator. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, give me a like, comment, subscribe. And I appreciate it. This is fresh water I just made. All this stuff has to be wiped off and put back in the refrigerator. I don't wear gloves most of the time because it's quicker and easier without the gloves. Plus, I'm used to doing it this way. For years it does not bother me because I'm not using a whole lot of harsh chemicals you know just warm water dish detergent and a top full of my bleach and when I get finished wiping it off I empty this water out and I put clear water in here and go back over it been doing it for years perfectly fine this is just what I do for my household After this, I'm going to wash my hands, put some lotion on, and I'm going to bed.
Okay guys, I wiped this off everything manually. Now I'm gonna get ready and um well actually not yet. I'm gonna wait a second. I'm just gonna try to put this stuff over here. some room and these are just some two bottles of water that was in the door part I always keep at least two bottles of water in the door part and um, now I'm about to get this stuff out right here this is my cheese drawer where I keep cheese and deli meat at and if some of my butters can fit in here, I put that in there as well. These are leftovers. of water y'all know I love my cranberry juice these are the only two that I really really love right here it's the cran cram grape and the regular cranberry cocktail. My son, he still up. I'm gonna make him drink this of that little water this is some more leftovers these leftovers is within two days of each other so my son probably will devour those some leftover boiled eggs when I made my tuna fish last week and we usually sometimes all depends on how we feel we'll grab one um, some extra ones that I boil and we'll grab one and eat it in the morning This is some apple 
sauce my son. Um, let's see. It's expired already. I got two more fresh cans in the freezer. Just some bacon for in the morning. Leftovers, leftovers. So it's nothing in there. My son does this and it drives me nuts. I don't know why he just can't put it in the garbage once it's empty, but that's young adults for you. Lemons, lots of lemons. Got some more four things. An apple, we gotta eat. Got some more lemons. I'm gonna put. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put all of it in one bag. Heads of lettuce. Okay. So all that is out. I like putting these little, um, their cabinets, um, liners. I got these from, I actually got them for free, this design, because, um, before the pandemic, well, health crisis, I won a um, $500 gift card from Lowe's, and, um, I gave my sister and my brother-in-law a hundred dollars and I think they bought like a weed whacker or something like that for their house where they can trim backyard and front yard easy. And then I gave another friend of mine for always helping me out when I need her. Um, she came and got some stuff and the rest of the money, the rest of the gift card that I won, I just bought some stuff for myself. And I bought a, I got a microwave for free, a vacuum. I got some of these little liners. I think two of them. I think I got two of them for free. I got a lamp. Some, um, a carbon monoxide. Kicks. I got some lights. Got a couple of packs of light bulbs. See how it, whatever spilled on here, it comes right off. It's the best thing I ever did because it cuts your cleaning time in half, you know, and whatever spills on here, which is not much, it don't usually much, you know, spillage goes on all like that, but whatever goes on, you can just get it right up. So yeah, I got quite a few stuff for free. I won a $500 gift card 
2018, I think. fun. I usually don't win anything, you know. And I was not going to do it until I saw a lot of my couponing community um, buddies. They was doing the gift card. I think you had to like text this code and it tell you how much you won. And when mine came back 500, I thought it was a joke. And I went to, you had to go the same day you had to go the same day to redeem your gift card. I'm pretty sure it was like a little write-off for Lowe's. My sister and her husband did it, but they only got, um, they only won like $25 each. But yeah, I was surprised I won that $500. gave my sister and her husband a hundred dollars because when I need them they come if I need them to do something for me you know they come so the hundred dollars they wanted to get like a little weed whacker I think that's what they call it because they own their home and they wanted to be able to trim their backyard and front yard when they do they outside. So that's what they did with their hundred dollars. And a friend of mine's, she got a few things from Lowe's because I think I gave her, it wasn't a hundred dollars, but I think I gave her probably like 50 or 60 or something. So, and the rest I just spent on myself. So yeah guys, that was really fun. son was up but now I hear him snoring <laughs> he always said mommy you need help I told him to go to bed he was on his phone and on the game but I told him to go to bed he got to work tomorrow I'm gonna go to bed soon when I get finished with this I didn't want to have to come back and have to do all this after bringing the groceries in because I know he's gonna be at work And I usually come in and set everything up and film for you guys. Every time I know I'm going to go to the store and do a big grocery haul, I like to go ahead and just wipe my refrigerator off. Because like I said, I cleaned it out. Because when I come home and unload that, bring that stuff in the house and unload it and film for you guys, I just want to put it right in the refrigerator, you know? I don't like my stuff to stay out too long. It's easier. And you'll be able to just put it in this rightful place and wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, nothing fancy guys but I get it done
you guys let me know down in the comments how often do you clean out your refrigerator do you do it every time you know you're going to the store or do you do it when you come back do you do it once a month I like to get disinfectant wipes and wipe all down here and over in that corner. It's so late, I need to get behind this one. I can pull the drawer out, but I'm going to do that. That's probably the only thing I'm going to do tomorrow when I come back because it's kind of late and I don't want to kind of. It don't matter how gentle you try to be, it still make noises. So I'm gonna take the drawer because it should be it'll be quick and easy to take the drawers out and just go ahead and do it. But I'm trying to see something. Okay. That wasn't too bad, guys, was it? Wasn't too bad. some fresh water we don't I'm not gonna put anything in the water it's gonna be all clear just to go back fresh clear water clean clear water go back over I'm trying to see okay I could have sworn that this thing is the way my refrigerator is I thought it slided over but it don't but that's okay I just have to go behind it let's see It all, pulled it all the way out because the way my refrigerator is positioned. Um, I don't know why I thought it slided out. Maybe I was thinking of something else that's okay. I thought it slide to the side. Maybe I had my son show me how he did it. I'm trying to get behind that little crumbs right there. Some crumbs over here driving me nuts. And so what I had to do for this one, I had to go behind it and pull it out and go behind it and get the crumbs. So that's pretty much done. Whew. All the bending down and back and forth, honey. Okay. Trying to be mindful. I have people, I know they're in the bed, live in an apartment, and I don't want to be disrespectful, you know? Should be about midnight after midnight somewhere around in there so okay guys um i'm gonna put you guys on pause for a minute because i gotta go get some disinfecting wipes so and hurry up and put all this back in the refrigerator just gotta wipe this stuff off and put it in the refrigerator just this stuff over here just put all that stuff right there so hold on tight guys so I have some fresh clean water. It's nothing in there. It's just fresh, clear, warm water to go back over the refrigerator. Because I told you guys, been doing it for years. Just like my mom, I um, put the top full that comes off the bleach. I pour some in the water, just a little top full, and the um, warm water, or really hot water, and um, detergent. And then we go back over it with clear water. Never had a problem. 
and you don't need to use a lot of bleach anyway that's just how we do it this is you know to each his own but this is how we do our refrigerators so just going back over everything like I said with clear water so I can start putting everything back up because I know I'm going to do a big grocery haul because we are out of a lot of stuff looking for my containers I don't know if you guys remember about a month or two I think it was like two months ago I bought those clear containers with the handles that go in the refrigerator I didn't know where they were set at first but I think I know where they're at I'm going to um, do something different in my refrigerator try to give myself some more room and plus I like to organize as possible as much as possible I'm trying to get myself some extra room when it comes to in the refrigerators I don't have a huge refrigerator but it'll do so okay like I said it's just clear water going back over everything I usually keep my um Sometimes I, well, it's mainly for cheese and deli meat in here. And sometimes I put some butter in there. son I probably I know he's gonna eat that leftover so usually nothing gets wasted here 19 year old always eating and that's okay because his mama likes to feed him And I already wipe all this stuff off over here off camera and I did all that already so guys this is usually where my two loaves of bread go we were raised whatever you open up put it in the refrigerator keeps it fresher longer plus it prevents the bugs and those little gnats when you set the bread out because i see some people set it in their cup cabinets or out on the count um out on the count counter we was not raised like that we'll just once we open it we put it in the we put it that's my son snoring that's why i was wondering what that is he snores loud so we was raised once we open it up we put the put the bread put the bread in here put the bread in the refrigerator to prevent it from like bugs and gnats and different stuff like that so that's my bread tray I usually at least get two bowls of bread so Let's start getting this stuff back in here, guys. All right. I'm trying to go with the stuff that I know we...
grab a lot of. doing something different because I try to just put a lot of the stuff I know we grab for up here first that's how we usually do it so I barely even use this A1 steak sauce. My son get it when I make steaks sometimes, but I be forgetting all about it. I usually don't use it that much. Probably should have said that one. Let's see. Okay. do it in the order that I know me and my son grab stuff in so so this is the little butter going bad guys I looked at them and they're going bad I hate that I think because I bought all that salad I don't know if you guys remember I bought a lot of salad kits and we ate up most of them before it went bad but then I forgot I had those two head of lettuce because sometimes I like to grab some lettuce on the side like when I'm making a sandwich sometimes I don't grab bread all the time I make it with the lettuce and I forgot that I had the two head of lettuce there, but I hate to let stuff go to waste. But yeah, and these are all my lemons. I'm just transferring it to this other bag. Gotta have lemons. Okay. For my tea, and I clean my meat with lemons. Okay guys, so this is going here because we'll be eating the rest of those these are going in the garbage so let's go over here real quick put these back so now I know I already knew I needed a lot of stuff but I just like to have things organized so okay that's the juices get these waters let's move them over the side I like to put I like to have the big big jugs of water too in the refrigerator those 
Deer Park's waters. I like to put in the refrigerator too, guys. All right, just trying to make sure this is going all the way back. Okay. This is just my cup. Um, I got from, I got a cup, two of those from Target a year or two, I think a couple of years ago. I just keep that cup in there because that's for my cranberry juice. I like for my cup to be cold when I'm going to get ready and pour something. Just trying to see what else. Okay, these leftovers. But let me get this first. Definitely got to get some more shredded cheese because this is all we have. This is a store-bought one from one of our local stores. This is a good brand, the Crystal Farm. So we definitely got to get some more shredded cheese, I do. Okay. So, so far, that's what's in there. That's the door part. And I have more... I'm doing something else with these. I'm not going to leave these butters in here. I'm going to put it in our Dollar Tree tray with the handle. It's going on the second shelf. I just got to get it out and clean it. But for now, I'm going to put them inside of here. I was raised off of this right here, but I don't buy this much anymore because I use my Kerrygold butter a lot. I've been using that for over five years or more and then I like the Lander Lake so I'm not gonna let it I'm not gonna waste it I'm gonna still use it but I was raised after that so this right here we're trying to see what is the date on here I made a mistake and picked up the wrong one this is supposed to have been um pepperonis but it's not so it have not expired this is the salami now he'll eat it with the so he'll eat it with the pepperoni but he 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 don't want it. He he's not gonna eat it by itself. Okay, and this is one of my favorite from Sam's Club are um the bacon bits. And then we have one of these. I can put that all the way back there. That's for hot chocolate. I like to at least keep one on hand. Okay, and the rest of the stuff is leftovers, which I'm gonna set it here because my son will probably he'll eat he'll eat this stuff probably before school. I mean before work or either after. When I go shopping, the day I go grocery shopping, I don't cook on that day. Let me know. Do you guys cook on the same day you go grocery shopping? It's too much. I don't. So this is leftovers for him. And we just have some eggs I scoop here because this is going to be eaten up in any way. So because I put my jugs and milk over here, then orange juice, and then my iced teas. But for now, I'm sitting out there so he can see the leftovers. And I will probably be eating these because this is my leftover. The other day, he bought himself and me some Arby's. And I only like, I only like Arby's curly fries, chicken strips. And um, curly fries, chicken strips, and their um, shakes. And I used to like their ham and cheese, but I don't even know if they sell that no more. But yeah, I don't eat a whole lot from Arby's. But that's, those are my leftover chicken strips and I think some curly fries. So I'll probably heat that up before I go to the store because I don't want to go to the store hungry. So I'll leave it like that. So anyway, guys, this video has been long enough. It's nothing else left but one little lonely little sauce. And I'm going to put that right there. So anyway, this is how it's looking. It's clean. And when I go grocery shopping, I will come back and show you guys how I finish organizing and fill it up and everything. So it's functional in a way we like it. So quite a few stuff we have to get. So don't have a whole lot to do to the deep freezer only thing I do to the deep freezers I get this little these crumbs right here out 
and I'm gonna organize them and I'm gonna take these out the boxes and organize them so that way when I bring the rest of my food I can just start putting stuff in the refrigerator when I get finished filming and this is usually left over this is usually like packages of stuff when you open it up you put it in the door part so he got some chicken patties and curly fries in here and one little lonely bird's eye um, broccoli so I'm just gonna move this stuff and wipe just wipe it real quick it's not gonna whole lot but just wipe it and take this stuff out the boxes so okay guys i come back and um well we don't like to throw stuff away i don't like to waste anything so he's sleep i thought he was still up i was gonna make him drink the rest of this water but he'll drink it so i just set it here so yeah guys i'll be back tomorrow to show you guys how everything else looks so i just gotta throw those head of lettuce i really hate guys let me know I forgot to put these little shots. These are some healthy little drink shots that I have to take. I don't have to take them. I just try them and buy them every month. But yeah, I'm going to put these back in here, shake them up good. But yeah, guys, let me know. Um, do you hate to be wasteful? I mean, it, it happens. I'm pretty sure it happens that stuff goes spoiled or bad. But it really bothers me. I hate when I let stuff go bad. But anyway, I didn't know I had them because, like I said, I bought a lot of salad. Um, two weeks ago and we ate a lot of that bag salad and I forgot that these two heads of lettuce was in there because sometimes when I'm making a sandwich instead of um, getting bread I like to make it with the lettuce or either sometimes we like to have lettuce on the side with our dinner so I just forgot I had it but that's okay I, I get some I get some more and make sure I use it but I hate that they go bad I hate when food or anything go bad that's just me but anyway it happens okay guys i'm gonna go you hear myself snoring in the background he's super loud guys i swear he's in his room and he snores so loud i'm used to it but anyway i'm gonna show you guys tomorrow the grocery haul and how the refrigerator is looking so if you like the video it was nothing special give me a thumbs up like comment subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later good night guys bye